Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for Capricorn. This is going to be for your April 2023. You can apply this to any replacements because this reading can be about anything. Nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. So we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for um, April. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Capricorn people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, all right? So tell me about uh, Capricorn, over energies for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? What can Capricorn can expect for um, April 2023. I almost said November for some reason. I don't know. Uh, maybe something is going to happen in November or something happened in November for you. Something big. Yeah. So let's see. We got the Seven of Swords here and the King of Wands. I mean, with that King of Wands and that Seven of Swords, you could be in some sort of self-preservation energy. Okay, or that you could be dealing with someone here that has been lying to you or that has been decept deceptive towards you or that you've been sabotaging yourself. Okay, with a full card here, Aries energy and temperance here. Seems like you're being guided by your guides and your angels and your ancestors here. There is a new beginning that's happening here for you. You're definitely stepping out of this kind of like deceptive energy. I feel like you're protecting yourself here and I feel like you're 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 off to a you know a, a new start. You basically are not you're on a path of healing here. You know, I just feel like you spat sabotage. You might have sabotaged a lot of opportunities here. Okay, maybe in work and love or something like that. Okay. And now, you know, Capricorn, this doesn't have to be you. Maybe this is someone that you know that's uh, going through this, okay? We have the Knight of Swords here, Libra Aquarius Gemini here. It's almost like kind of like seeing the, the light here and you're realizing that, oh my God, you know, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of like enjoying the experiences of things that are coming towards you here or that you're coming across. Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Seven of Swords here. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Seven of Swords and the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the King of Wands here and the Two of Wands. Uh, I feel like you made a big decision here to change your life. And I feel like the decision was a difficult one, but I feel like your guides and your angels and your ancestors are guiding you through this. So I do feel like a lot of you guys are intuitively tapped in right now too. King of Pentacles, like I said, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Fool here, the Four of Pentacles, the Temperance card, and the Devil. Wow. There's a sense of releasing and letting go, you know? You know, one of the things I'm getting here, as I look at this temperance card and this devil energy, you know how you have in the cartoons, you know, you have one shoulder, the angel, and then you have another shoulder, the devil. And I feel like you're getting pulled in like two different directions here. And I feel like you're choosing the light here. That's what I'm getting, okay? Because you just don't want to be in kind of like this low vibration, low conscious level uh, uh, that, uh, uh, that, you know, this devil energy can entail. Um, so the seven of cups and the five of swords, the knight of swords and the eight of pentacles. One of the things I'm also getting here is that there is a work situation here that's also driving you nuts. It's kind of like you're almost losing your mind here because it could be that you're doing too much here too. Uh, 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 Capricorn. So it's kind of like time to slow down too. All right. So tell me about Capricorn. Outcome and advice here for Capricorn regarding their situations. What else does Capricorn need to know? Look out for, work on here for uh, April 2023. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for 
Capricorn. We have the Queen of Pentacles here and the Queen of Wands. Oh, wow. This is a romantic relationship here. You could be dealing with a situation here that, you know, you might be in a really dark place with this person. Okay. And I feel like you're making a decision to like maybe cut this person out because it could be a situation that this person is making you lose your mind here. Okay. Uh, we have a true pair here. Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Four of Swords here. Some of you guys are learning to meditate here too. Some of you guys are definitely shedding a lot of layers here or just really just doing a lot of releasing here. Just a lot of releasing. Maybe you're releasing your old identity here. Maybe you're releasing your, uh, you know, this person. You're releasing a job that's not working out here for you, okay? Um, let's see what else we have. The Sun and the Seven of Pentacles. So what we have here is that I feel like you're putting yourself first. I feel like you're putting your happiness first because I feel like you're really, you were really tending this is to someone here where you're, lo you were losing a sense of self here, you know? So I feel like you're no longer doing that anymore or that you don't want to do that. Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands here and the Nine of Wands. Why do I feel like you try to rescue someone here? Because this queen here has a lot of trauma, a lot of pain, a lot of fear here. And, you know, I feel like as you were rescuing this individual, I feel like over time, I feel like you lost yourself. Yeah. And I feel like this is something that you realize and this is something that you don't want to do anymore. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Page of Swords here, and the Ten of Pentacles, Four of Swords here, and the Ace of Cups. You know, it's sort of like, I don't know, it's so funny. I hear making, this person made their bed. The thing is, I feel like this person is making you make their bed for them. So it's like, I feel like, you know, you're not making their bed anymore. You know, you're allowing them to make their bed on their own and to sort of figure things out on their own here. So I feel like this is someone that you really care about and love, but I feel like you can't be in the situation or in this toxic situation anymore. The sun, nine of pentacles. Yeah, I see you breaking up with this individual and I see you healing. I see you healing from the situation. I see you freeing yourself from the situation here that you got really elbow deep and knee deep into. So there's a major focus on yourself. There's an energy of putting yourself first and just gaining the courage to move away from this and to release. Yeah, you know, I just feel like you're trusting your intuition here. You know, you're trusting your intuition. You know, I feel like you just didn't want to give up too easily on this person. But I feel like, you know, you've done everything that you possibly can. And there's nothing more that you could do. And this is all about, you know, letting go. Uh, you know, this is all about letting go. Learning to let go. So it uh, seems like you learned the big lesson here or that you will be learning the big lesson here. So Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.